Okay, so um, I've come out on a particularly uh, glorious evening this evening, just catching the last of the sun, and, and thought this might be a good time to share with you a very simple uh, breathing technique um, to really help reduce our, our stress um, and anxiety levels if we feel them beginning to rise. It's very good for, for kind of keeping that in check. Very simple. You can do it anywhere. You can do it you know, stuck in traffic, uh, waiting in a queue, no one will know you're doing it, but it's it's just to help us kind of tune in to how we breathe and to give us a better kind of understanding of how our emotions and our thoughts um, can affect our breathing and that ultimately affects our physiology, our stress, you know, the amount of stress hormones we have pumping around our bodies and how, how unhealthy that is to have all the time. So it really kind of gives us an understanding of that. So. Before I show you how to how to breathe properly, <laughs> um, there's a very simple exercise we can do to just kind of tune in to, to our own breathing. So if you can, just for a few moments, just put one hand on your chest and one hand just on your, on your belly, just below the navel. And just for a few moments, just cast your mind back to, uh, to, to a wonderful experience where you felt immense joy, uh, perhaps falling in love, passing an exam, but some, some really joyful occasion. And just, just for a few moments, just kind of really go back into that moment um, emotionally. And, uh, and just be aware of, of the quality of your breath. If you're breathing perhaps more up in the chest, more down into the belly, perhaps it's even. Okay, so just, just kind of feel that, just for a few moments. Perhaps close your eyes um, to kind of get into it if you're comfortable to do that. Just take your mind back to that, that wonderful, joyful experience. And once you've kind of tuned into the quality of your, of your breath, there's no right or wrong, but just kind of tune in. And once you've felt that, now take your mind to um, perhaps something you saw in the news that you perhaps found um, get a little bit stressful, um, you know, not very nice piece of news that kind of affected you uh, negatively, um, emotionally. So just tune into that, again, just for a few, few breaths, a few moments, just to feel it, how or if it affects your breathing. Again, just sensing if, it's, if you're breathing more into the chest, more into the belly, if it's perhaps you know, still the same. Just really go back into that, that moment that you saw the not very nice piece of news. And, um, just kind of tune into your breath. Okay, and once you've got that, and now I want you to cast your mind back to that, that beautiful, joyful um, experience again. That falling in love, uh, emotion, just really kind of sense that again. And just breathe, feeling that emotion, sensing it in your body, your breath. And just hold on to that feeling. Okay, so what, what I found at the beginning, my breath was kind of, it was fairly even, about 50-50 actually. And when I had that nice, beautiful thought, I found that my, my breathing was, was more down into the belly, it was more relaxed, um, more flowing. When I had a negative thought, when I went to that negative experience of you know, whatever it was I watched on the news, I found that I was breathing more up into the chest. There's a real kind of, kind of sense to it. And then when I relaxed, again, kind of thinking nice, nice thoughts, everything, all the breath went down, further down into the belly then and most people find that obviously if it wasn't for you that's absolutely fine there's no there's no kind of right or wrong but that's that's generally how people react when they think different thoughts um, so so what that does it's kind of twofold it comes from both ways so if you're having a, a negative thought it affects your breathing so you're breathing more up into the chest and what that does also from the other way if you tend to breathe more into the chest anyway more than you do into the belly what that's doing is it's it's sending uh, kind of signals to the mind to, to the body that it needs to be releasing stress hormones it needs to be releasing cortisol because it's ready for that vital vital flight yeah you know, when you're under stress the body's kind of you know ready to go the adrenaline's pumping around the body um, and we may not even be aware of it we might be in such a kind of continual state of, of stress which most of us kind of pretty much are it's just tuning into that and going, okay, right, I'm not going to be breathing up into the chest now. I'm going to be relaxing my breath down into the belly. 
obviously this is fantastic for Qigong and, and stuff like that as well, where all the movements, all the movements come from from the, the down to end, the chest, uh, sorry, the belly, just below the belly button. So it's really kind of bringing the breath down, being aware that when you're having stressful thoughts, experiencing anxiety, if you have that awareness that you might be breathing more into the chest, just lowering it down, relaxing the body, relaxing the breath can help massively to get rid of the stress hormones. Obviously, we can't always avoid stressful thoughts. You know, we, we live in reality, stress happens, but it's about kind of managing that as it comes up, being in tune with your breath. And the thing is, the more we practice breathing properly, is when you look at a baby, you know, they, that's how they breathe. They, they breathe into the belly. We kind of unlearn how to breathe properly, especially, you know, in our society, we're trying to walk around looking skinny and, and holding in our, holding in our bellies. So that in turn will bring all the breath up into the chest. Stress hormones. So breathe down to the belly, relaxing the chest, kind of almost it's very subtle, kind of, they call it um, in, in Tai Chi, hollowing the chest. So you're relaxing the chest, breathe down into the belly. Do that as often as you can. The more you do it, the more your body will just kind of remember how to breathe properly, reducing stress. I hope that's been of some help to you. Um, enjoy the sun while it's out. Cheers.